Yo, you working? What's up? What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be looking at some footage that I got in Weldon, North Carolina this year. Um, I was going up there with the grand plan of filming a lot, and as usual, I just suck at actually getting video when the fishing's good. So, I didn't get as much video as I wanted to up there this year, but I did capture some cool stuff one day uh, when I had the, had the morning off. Me and my buddy John Smolko, we hopped on his jet boat and kind of ran upriver from where a lot of people are typically fishing. We got into some faster water, some heavy current, and it seemed like this year, as well as years past, a lot of those bigger fish um, have come from that faster water and that heavier current. What's up, guys? We are out here on the Roanoke River. I got John with Hello. me. We're, uh, we got a gentleman start this morning. We both kind of slept through our alarms. Um, got out here, we're struggling right off the bat, but we found some fish blowing up on the surface and it slid over here and just doubled up. So let's we'll see if we can get a little action on, on video. Let's see what we got. Hey man, when these fish get down in that current. Yeah, in this fast current, man, those little ones feel big. So let's stop and kind of dive into what's going on right here. So since we're on John's jet boat, we decided we were going to run a little further up river and get into, get into some shallower, faster water. This particular day, the water flows were still high enough that you could have gotten a prop boat up there. Um, but we just felt a little more comfortable on the jet boat. We're able to move around. Banging rocks isn't as big of a deal on a jet boat as it is on a flat skiff. So where we're set up, we were sitting in some faster water and we had a bunch of boulders up above us and one big boulder on the That's river fine. left side. So if you're coming down river, cool it's on your left side. side. Um, and there was a nice soft Sweet. water about Thanks, 15 man. to 20 feet from, from the bank to about 15 to 20 feet off. And so we were throwing up behind this big boulder in the edge of the soft water and letting it swing a little bit. And as soon as you kind of got on that seam of soft to fast water, we'd start twitching it and it'd be a bite almost immediately. So all the fish that were sitting up in this zone were there to feed. And we caught quite a few nice fish doing that right there. But I just wanted to dive into that and explain to you what was going on. All right, let's get back to it. You got another one? Another one, dude. Guy. It keeps getting smaller. So we pulled up to this spot, uh, we've got fish kind of getting up on some, it looks like, what do you think, herring or a bigger shad? Yeah, something like that, some big shad. And they're blowing up on the top and when when they're blowing up on the top, we've been able to sight cast into that into the blitz and, and get hooked up pretty quickly. But um, John's just been swinging soft plastics on, how heavy is that jig head? I think it's 3 8 3 8 ounce jig head and, and just kind of bouncing it, letting it kind of 
roll across the bottom in the current and getting picked up pretty consistently. So we're gonna keep doing that and hopefully get some more on camera for you. Later. This fish just blew up some shad right beside the boat, pitched in there, wham! He's gone. Another nice one. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. talk to y'all too kind of about what we fish there in Weldon. Um, if we're fly fishing I'm usually I don't get too creative with the flies. I mean I've, I've thrown big articulated streamers and game changers and all kinds of different stuff but I'm typically just throwing a small clouser. Chartreuse and white, pink and white, olive and white, brown and white. It really doesn't matter. I just I do like to have two colors stacked. You get that little lateral line in the fly. I just I think the fish might pick up on a little bit better that way. But the fly fishing, sometimes when you're throwing those little small flies and the way that they sink and suspend through the water and quick, fast strips, um, you can outfish the bait fishermen, you can outfish the guys on the jig. The fly sometimes is, 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 is the ticket. Um, if you bait fish up there, it's pretty nonstop action. But fishing the jig and fishing the fly, you get plenty, plenty of action to, to make your day. Um, if I'm fishing on the spinning rod, if, they're, if it's early in the morning or late in the evening, a lot of times I'm throwing top water. If those fish are up high in the water column and they're eating top water, it's a, it's a lot of fun. But if not, I'm fishing um, typically an eye strike jig head with a, with a fluke um, or really any soft plastic shape. But I like the flukes there. They're real jumpy and darty. Um, and I'm fishing chartreuse, pink, or white. I really don't get much crazier than that on the colors. They eat, they'll eat a lot of colars. but. Striped bass, that tends to kind of be the color you want to go for is the, is the chartreuse. You're going to chase white. him? Uh, going to need to chase him down. But yeah, so it's pretty simple. Pretty simple tackle breakdown. Just wanted to give that to y'all so that you would know what we were doing, what we were catching them on. <laughs> Freaking slob. Big fish. There you go. I strike jig heads, baby. Look at that thing. He just thumped it like 10 feet from the boat. Unfortunately, that is all the video I got this year in Weldon, which kind of stinks because I was up there for about two weeks and had some awesome fishing. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope if you haven't made it to Weldon, you'll make it up there next year. It's a really cool fishery and uh, definitely one you should check out. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Also, comment on the video if you have any questions or anything you want to say. And give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you next time. Peace.